Evening, I'm Dan Wolf. Thanks for joining us. We are following a developing story in Cloquet where Sappy Paper Mill is being evacuated due to flooding. This afternoon, Sappy employees were asked to leave the mill due to the rapidly rising St. Louis River, which now threatens the facility. Now, this is what it looked like just upstream from Sappy this afternoon. Mill leaders tell us they made the decision themselves as a precaution. They're following normal shutdown procedures. Barriers have been put up around Sappy to keep water out. We're told so far it's working, but the river's still rising. No word when employees will be allowed to return to work. Now, the St. Louis River isn't just threatening Sappy in that area. We can see the water approaching the River Inn Bar and Grill in Scanlon. As of this morning, the river there was around 11.6 feet, but it's expected to rise two more feet in the next 24 hours. That would put water levels just four inches shy of the record crest back in 1979. Carleton County leaders declared a flood emergency yesterday, allowing them to tap into state or federal resources if necessary. Just downriver from there, the water is roaring at Jay Cook State Park. This is what it looked like shortly before noon today. As you can see, the water's risen just about to the base of the famous hanging bridge, which washed out entirely during the 2012 flood. We're keeping an eye on it tonight as well. Now, western Duluth neighborhoods are also threatened by the river tonight. Northern News Now's Rob Coles is live there for us. Uh, Rob, has the situation noticeably changed since an hour ago when we last spoke with you? Yeah, Dan, we've been out here in the Fond du Lac neighborhood. I'm on 133rd Avenue West. We've been here a couple hours. I, I would say at least what feels like maybe about 10, uh, 8 to 10 feet closer, the waters are getting to us off of the St. Louis River here. But I'm going to step out of the shot so you can see because those waters are also getting closer to the homes here. If you look there, you can see that backyard has become slowly more flooded over the course of this afternoon. What looks like a couple of uh, sheds there are now starting to get underwater, and it's inching closer to that home there that is just elevated, just on a little bit of a hill there. This is just one of the areas that's being impacted by flooding right now in our area. Now, take a look at this footage from earlier today. Section of Norton Road between Howard Gneason and Rice Lake Road on the east side of Duluth has collapsed. It's the portion of the street where the East Fork of the Chester Creek runs beneath it through culverts. City leaders say they expect this section of Norton to be closed for at least two months for repairs, but it could take up to six months for the city to acquire the materials for a permanent fix. Some residents who live next to the creek say they haven't seen the waters this high before. The flooding hasn't really been this bad. I mean, this there's usually a creek that runs through here. Um, it's never this wide. Uh, Beavers had it dammed up quite a bit for the years, so maybe because of this extra snow and extra heavy snow and everything, it finally broke loose and that's what's caused all this. That's Rob Kotzlow, who actually owns the section of property where the creek runs through. He says it's frustrating to see the road damaged because it was just recently replaced. And city leaders have confirmed that the top was paved over about a year ago, but the culvert beneath it was in poor shape, and that may have caused the materials underneath to be washed away by the fast-moving water. Now, fortunately, on Norton Road, many of those homes there are elevated on hills, so the threat of the floodwaters reaching the homes is relatively low. But here in Fond du Lac, the homes are really, it's, it's like an even plane with the river right now. And so the threat for that flooding is a, it's a big, big risk. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I hate to hear that the water is inching closer to those homes there. Uh, Rob Coles reporting live for us in Western Duluth tonight. Thank you, Rob. Uh, there is some good news to report. Mall Drive and Maple Grove Road near the Miller Hill Mall has reopened. The area was blocked off yesterday, partially cutting off access to many businesses. A few other Duluth roads also reopened today. They include a portion of Martin Road and the corner of Pleasant View Avenue, Avenue and Whittier Street. But over in Wisconsin, State Highway 169 near Mellon between the Bad River and Tyler Forks River bridges remains closed tonight. It's been closed for about 48 hours now. The water forced Drummond schools to close yesterday. Kids were back in class today.